Well, hello, YouTube. Uh, I have a friend, Steve, who uh, says that I should make videos because I do a lot of stuff. Everything from barbecuing and making beer to shooting. And, well, we're going to put some of those things together here. And this is a gift that I got for Christmas from my brother, Tony. Well, it is a cannon kit. And let's see, we open this guy up. And it's a traditions cannon. Look at that. So that looks pretty cool, huh? It's a pretty easy kit. The toughest thing is going to be uh, polishing and bluing the cannon. This sucker right here. This guy's. Heavy. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Oh, that is a big sucker. And there, there you go. You can kind of see it's a 66 caliber cannon. It's about the same size as a paintball, but can't really shoot paintballs out of that. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, I'm going to start polishing this guy. I don't know if you can see it on here. But it's... There's a bunch of little machine marks or the... Yeah. A bunch of little... Little rings that are going around it. Hmm. That's what we got to polish off. we got to get it down to bare metal. And then we're going to blue it. So we got our little wheel here. I don't know if I'm going to be have to set it up to watch me for a little while. Okay. Well, I polished with a 400 grit steel. Um, sorry, 400 grit grit wet dry sandpaper. It looks, I can't know if you can tell or not, but we're down to like bare metal here, nice and shiny. Threw it on the wheel and pre assembled or dry fit the wood components here. Now I'm going to take off the, uh, take it apart and using um, a bluing kit, I'm going to blue, I have to clean, degrease prep and then blew the, uh, the cannon itself and reassemble the wood and uh, stain it and polyurethane it and then put the cannon on and we'll try her out okay I've done the first two steps in the bluing process which was to use a cleaner degreaser which is basically just a soap. And then um, I use the blue and rust remover. Quiet dog. Woof, woof. Um, which really I think was probably unnecessary because it was just bare metal to begin with, but better safe than sorry, I think, especially in this little project first time. Uh, so that's been cleaned, cleaned and degreased blued and rust removed, cleaned and degreased again, and rinsed, and now it's time to put the bluing on. It's this guy right here, Birchwood KC Perma Blue, Liquid Gun Blue. There we go. Auto focus a little slow. All right, I'm going to try and prop this up. I got to... All right. And it says to do it in sections. I mean, it's a small piece, but we're going to do it in the sections. Here we go. Okay. Rub it on. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hmm. Leave 
it on just for 30 to 60 seconds because what you got to do is put it on do a couple of coats really I think with it yeah, the bluing it's really just a uh, controlled rust turns it into black iron oxide which is actually what we were using for th to make the thermite we make which is another video but <laughs> okay now we gotta rinse it off halfway done you can kind of see the the bluing on here hopefully you can see it pretty good half of the cannon is uh black and half is silver I want to show you how uh, we're going to get this on here and uh, looks like it's working all right. All right. It's all coated with blue. Not sure if you can, how well we can see that. There's some weird TV show on in the back, by the way. Uh, okay, now we just need to let it cure overnight. That's what it says. Rub some oil on it, let it cure. I think it's a pretty good coating on there. It's got a nice black color. Not really blue. I mean, I guess you could go more. Although, I don't know what the... Uh, put a couple of coats of the... Did it over... Like, darker each time. I know there's some different kinds of bluing. There's some paste bluing and stuff. I think it looks pretty good though. Definitely look at it. It's got a nice protective coat on it versus the, the bare shiny silver steel that was there before. But all right. You're on. All right. You got it good and we're going to see if it works. There you go. Wanting shot pretty far. Wasn't nearly as loud as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Not even close to nearly as loud as I thought it was going to be. Okay, number two. Should I be pointing what? That was louder. That's the paper. The wine.